Angles and peaks in Fortnite are some of the seemingly small things that separate top level players from the rest of us. Elite box fighters like Clicks are always seeking out the new best angles, peaks, and other strategies to give themselves an edge in the game, right? Honestly, if you can master the best peaks and angles in Fortnite, you're gonna have such a massive advantage in basically every situation. And that's why today, guys, we're gonna be showing you some pro level tips to master angles and peaks in Fortnite. Be sure to stick around for the entire time because this is about to be good. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back again at the Pro Guy Studio. It is going down. I'm so excited. Just want to encourage you guys, man, to keep going, to never give up, to never surrender your dreams, no matter you know the negativity that you hear from anybody else. Keep going. I believe in you. All right, Bunch of Crunch Army, it's about that time. Yo, it's time to scream this out. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that? Come on, y'all. It's that Bunch of Crunch. What in the? Really, man? You just gonna just take my Bunch of Crunch like that? That's messed up. I'm mad at you. Let's get this going. And real quick, if you're looking for exclusive up-to-date tips and tricks from pro players, live classes and top players, along with 24-7 on-demand coaching from actual pro players, then I've got the perfect website for you guys. Head on over to ProGuys.com today to get started and take the next step toward mastering Fortnite. And while you're at it, okay, you gotta check out ProGuys Community Discord as well, where we have live Q&A sessions with the pro coaches, tons of people to play with, giveaways, and so much more. The links for the Discord and ProGuys.com are both in the description, so be sure to check them out. The first part of this video, and quite possibly the most crucial thing to know when it comes to peaking, come on now, is the difference between right hand peaks and left hand peaks. Yeah. The obvious thing about peaking in Fortnite and pretty much any other game is that whenever you peak, you should be trying to show the smallest amount of your character possible to make it harder for your opponent to hit you while also trying to maximize the amount you can see. And for this purpose, right hand peeking is going to be your best friend. Let me tell you why. In Fortnite, your camera, AKA the point where you pretty much see from is on the right side. Look around a wall on the right and repeat the same thing on the left. You can clearly see that on the right side, you can see so much more than you can see on the left. If that wasn't good enough, your weapon is also located on the right side of your character, making your character so much less exposed. When you peek on the right side as opposed to the left. Okay guys, so with that being said, it's pretty obvious that right hand peeking, at least in Fortnite, is completely superior to left hand peeking, simply due to the way the game was designed. And you're gonna see very clearly that in almost any fight between good players, right hand peeking is utilized basically the entire time. The main takeaway here, and I mean like right here, is to always look for right hand angles over anything else since they allow you to see so much more and peak so much less. Okay, so once you got this fundamental knowledge, pretty much every high level box fighting move builds on it. Okay guys, so next up, we're gonna be discussing a few different scenarios and how you should be peaking when they occur. And we're also gonna be starting with probably the most common scenario where you're simply next to another player, either inside a box they're trying to push or pushing them while on this same layer as one another. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to know for this situation is that whoever has right hand peak wins the fight 99% of the time, crazy. If you can get the right hand peak on your opponent in this situation and don't play like a total psycho, you should be able to make it out just fine. By far the best edit for this situation is the peanut butter peak. Okay, so the peanut butter is a peak we've covered plenty of times before, which basically consists of editing the top right triangle like this and jumping up to get a shot off on your opponent. Typically, you'll either have a cone below you or just a floor. So the reason the peanut butter is so great is because it exposes you for a very short amount of time. It keeps you moving so that you're hard to hit and it gives you a very clean angle to hit your opponent, assuming that you have decent aim. All of this combined makes the peanut butter peak one of the best edits for close range combat. You can even take a wall, perform the peanut butter edit and place a cone in your opponent's box to stop them from covering themselves. Okay, so if you do that, there's basically nothing they can do. They either have to completely turn their back to you to escape or simply just accept their fate. Okay guys, so another pretty common close range edit is the Mongrel Classic. And it's really no surprise why. For reference, the Mongrel Classic basically consists of taking a wall, editing the wall, placing a ramp, then editing the ramp to expose your opponent. When you do the Mongrel Classic, you give your opponent little time to react. 
and oftentimes they're going to get disoriented and lose the fight as a result. The main benefit guys of the Mongrel Classic is that it puts your opponent completely in the open and your ramp messes up their vision on you as well. One quick Mongrel Classic tip, all right? Get this, it's try and edit your ramp backwards on the left side only. Okay, so if you edit your ramp on the right side, your opponent can see you decently well. But on the left side, the ramp blocks their vision and their ability to hit you. But in general, you know, box to box combat is so much easier if you could just pull off a clean peanut butter or Mongo Classic. So you gotta be sure to practice them both so you can just dominate in these situations. When you're inside of a box with another player, you have a ramp over them, then you have a choice of one of two edits, either a straight ramp edit or a spiral ramp edit. Both are really great in their own ways, but have slightly different uses at times. Okay, so the spiral ramp edit is an edit that has been popularized by clicks, which confuses your opponent and basically gives you an unbeatable angle. Okay, so to do this, start with the ramp above your opponent and open your edit menu on your ramp, got it? Whichever side they're on, start your edit on the opposite side away from you. Bring it back towards you and the rest of the way around. Confirm the edit and run to the side going down. You'll then have a free shot on your opponent and they basically won't be able to fight back at all. It's more optimal to do this when your opponent is on the left side of the ramp, but it can still be performed consistently either way. Okay guys, so the second edit for inside of a box only works when your opponent is on the left side under your ramp and gives you a super easy right hand peek while they're basically unable to do anything. Okay, so to do this edit, simply edit the left side of your ramp forward and go on the right side to shoot your opponent who should be under the ramp. As you can see, your opponent can hardly see anything and you're able to get a super easy shot off of them. Okay, so that's it for the inside the box techniques, but real quick, before we move on, I like to mention that on our website, ProGuys.com, we've got an awesome course called the Editing Master Course. Okay, so in that course, we go over a ton of other amazing peaks and techniques that you'll definitely wanna check out. And while you're at it, we got a ton of other awesome courses on the website and we're coming out with even more. So be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. Okay, so with that being said, let's get back into the tips. The last situation we're going to be discussing is when you're pushing another player's box from above. This is often a difficult situation, but luckily it's pretty easy to keep a safe peek while doing it. Okay, so when you do this though, you gotta make sure, right? Just to let you know ahead of time, you always wanna be careful because a lot of opponents will simply double edit up and just cycle you. So always make sure you're behind some form of cover while pushing a player's box from above. Being above a box is definitely the most difficult angle to push from. So hopefully this helps. Okay, so first things first, guys. Before pushing from above, always build a wall in front of you between yourself and the roof to give yourself you know, more leverage when it comes to cover and more protection from a potential double edit. From here, and I mean like right here, make any right hand peak edit you like and just take your opponent's roof and floor. Be careful for any edits or plays. When you actually get control of the top of their box, you can edit through and make a play with either a ramp or a cone. Usually they're better for different situations. Ramps are best used if you're both on good health because they give you a bit more cover, right? While cones basically keep everything open. Usually for a ramp play, a good player will edit through the floor and cone, place a ramp in the box and edit it backwards on the left side to create an easy angle on the opponent and then use their pre-built cover as leverage to finish the fight from above. Okay, so another option. If you're looking to take the more direct approach and finish the fight as fast as you can, the cone play is gonna be a bit more efficient. Be aware though, guys, like this is just way more risky and it's best used if your opponent is low already or if you need to get in super fast. So to do this cone play, the process is pretty much the same as the ramp play, but instead of placing a ramp and then editing it, you just place a cone and immediately start raining down shots. But once again, you gotta keep in mind, the ramp play is much safer and the cone play is only really effective if your opponent is already low on health or if you need to finish the fight extremely fast. If you're questioning which one to use, then I would recommend using the ramp because it's just the much safer option. Okay, so before we finish up this video, we came across an awesome creative map that you can use to practice some of these angles and peaks, all right? Created by YouTuber named Machine Right. 6893-7995-6735. So this map is a defense section and an offense section. So grab whichever weapons you like from the sides of the spawn area, step into the instant reload if you like it, and then pick a side. We're gonna show you both starting with offense, here we go. 
Okay, so offense is the simpler side with the box in the middle of the map that has two targets inside. You can perform basically any edits and peaks you like to do against these two targets. There's really no specific rule. You can push the box from above, from the side, or even go inside the box. Although that's a bit tougher since the bots move pretty quickly. Okay, defense is the other side of this map, and you're gonna notice pretty much instantly that this area is a lot more cluttered and confusing. Basically, you're just supposed to box up on the platform and take whichever peaks or angles you'd like against the targets surrounding you. There's some on ramps, some on walls, some above, some below, some on your level. Basically, what I'm saying is that there are an absolute ton of targets here, so have fun. But anyway, if you're looking to practice your peaks and angles in creative, this map is definitely worth giving a shot. So we're gonna put up the code up on the screen right now. So you can just write it down if you like or type it into your creative. But anyways, guys, it's been fun, but we're gonna have to end the video right here. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Be sure to practice the techniques we talked about earlier and check out the creative map as well to get some good practicing. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel because we post awesome content like this every single day. Also, check out the Pro Guides Community Discord, which is going to be in the description, along with our subreddit, where we post a ton of awesome news, updates, and tips to help you guys improve. Finally, check out ProGuys.com to step up your game with awesome courses, pro coaches, live classes, and so much more. All right, we'll see you soon. Peace.